Hello YouTube and welcome to my next Blender Game Engine Python scripting tutorial and today I'm gonna continue what I started to make in previous tutorial so from the tutorial 11 to tutorial 15 I am expecting to show you how to make a city builder game basically step by step so in previous tutorial we created this real-time strategy camera like this, I'm gonna change this to 0.7, which I prefer. And now we have it. I I have made this scene with this grid, and I'm gonna uh, open second layer parallelly to the first one by holding down Shift and pressing two. And here I have placed two buildings. First one is um, hot a little hut where people can live and the second one is church um, later I'm gonna add maybe some even more buildings but I'm gonna leave like them like this now I'm gonna press shift 2 again to close it layer now what I wanna do is create a system that allows me to place buildings so let's get started firstly I'm gonna create a new empty a new empty and I'm gonna actually delete it and add different types um, I'm gonna add single arrow um, scale it down to minus one okay now I'll leave it to one okay it, it just makes me feel more consequent about what it is if it's arrow then I easily can think of it as of spawner and uh, I'm gonna call it spawner or placer this is for placing buildings nice um, what we should do now is add a property to it and call it building and I'm gonna debug it and I'm gonna set it to string or maybe better integer I'm gonna sort the buildings using integers um, so I'm gonna add property to each of the buildings this one is gonna have uh, I'm gonna add the property called build make sure that it isn't the same as the one on the MT I'm gonna set this building to have property build 0 and the church to have it at 1 now I'm gonna select this empty again and I'm gonna go in here in the script section and add new function I'm gonna call it builder I'm gonna define owner and I'm gonna add the script to the empty Set it to modules, call this builder, and type in here cube, cube dot builder. Now I'm gonna set it to triples always and put it like this. Now I what I wanna do is check where the cursor currently is, the mouse cursor. For example, if it is here, we want the spawner to be placed there and in this case we're gonna use sensor because it will make our work here like billion times e easier you need to add mouse and mouse over any I'm gonna call it MOA which refers to mouse over any leave everything empty here don't change it here down you don't need to change it just leave it like this and plug it in and I'm gonna define it here, here. I'm gonna make sense equals con dot sensors and moa equals sense m o a r e a m o a and now we must firstly check if the sensor is actually active if moa dot positive only then we're gonna execute this part if it's not positive we're gonna 
we're not gonna execute it because if if there's nothing where to place building you don't need to, you not, you shouldn't be able to place it okay so firstly we need po position so position is more dot hit position now when I run it, it should still work fine and throw nothing yes it's, it's fine so far what we can actually do is set the spawner's position to the hit position so we're going to own that world position equals pose dot hit uh, just pose now how do we visualize it for now we can just do it like this to test if it works we're gonna add a cube I'm gonna go in edit mode and move it upwards so that its bottom is at origin I'm gonna call it placer placer this which is visual reference of placer I'm gonna add new material to it shadeless um, transparency turn down now to something like 0.5 and I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it cyan nice I'm gonna set it to no collision now uh, I must parent it to this empty so I hold down shift and select the empty in the middle and I press ctrl p object now whenever I run the game you can see the placer is always where the cursor is I'm gonna take and scale this down something like 0.2 and apply scale now we have this nice visualization of placer however what we wanna do is make it always we want in this game we want it to be grid uh, I'm making a tutorial for a grid based game not we don't want the player to be able to place here and then the next building here then here then run away somewhere here we want them to be placed here here because I'm gonna make tutorials for kinda simple game so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to integer and see how it acts in grid and yeah we must it's vector so we must do it differently and the best way I find is importing vector Um, and here I'm gonna do vector uh, pose dot x and uh, integer pose dot x and the same for all of the position values so y z now when I run it you can see it kind of places in grid it's, it is still not what we need what we can do altern er, alternatively is firstly divide position by 2 then do this integer cast and add multiplier of 2 here uh, as far as I'm concerned, it should unsmoothen it. And as you can see, the grid is now twice bigger. And I can actually now, I can take all of this copy and go in miscellaneous and add new function and call it builder and I'm gonna take in more which is the sensor and uh, 
object. And now what else I'm going to take in is grid size. And I'm going to change this too to the grid size. So now it is user defined value how big the grid is. Now I'm going to return to the cube and instead of this function down here I'm going to do mist dot builder moi own and I'm going to set it to because uh, in my case 2 looks good in mist I must make sure that there is import vector and there isn't so I must create it from math utils import vector now I'm gonna return here and I don't need it here actually anymore now when I run it it should still work and it does as you can see it's all the time wherever I place my cursor in the grid um, I can actually scale it like this and now whenever I run it you can see it changes as well in grid nice now the last part and the fun part it's spawner and it's not difficult to spawn but now I'm thinking of it I need the name of object to spawn it I could create a dictionary from those but I don't need those properties so I'm gonna basically change their names building one okay for easier and arrangement this is gonna be building two and this is gonna be building one and now what I'm gonna do is create new function in miscellaneous called build it's gonna take in What's can take in? Um, mm, it's gonna take in firstly the building ID. So, ID. For now, it's gonna be it. I'm gonna do it simply. Oh yeah, it should also take in the object. So scene is object dot scene. Um, now I'm going to do it simple. Scene that add object, and here first thing that, as far as I remember, it was the name of the object where you which you spawn. And uh, in this case, it's gonna be um, building plus id. I'm gonna cast the string id. The second thing is where uh, the object at which you spawn the input parameter. And third thing was how, my, how, lo how long it lasts. Like this. I'm gonna return here and I'm gonna set uh, miss dot spawn. How do we call it? Build. Uh, build. Uh, own building out now it does nothing because we have done something wrong um why does it show that it has no seed object has seeds seed parameter Oh yeah, because you recall it object, not object. We, no, I, I, piece of fool. And there's no building zero. I must, so I must actually call them building zero and building one. Now, it's spawning them all the time and the frame rate 
drastically drops as you can see but we have those buildings spawning but it's not good to have it like this we need to test if the player presses mouse button and then spawn it I'm gonna quickly go to documentation and see what was the exact names for the mouse function because we're gonna create it just now so I'm gonna be back right now okay so we can get back to it um, I'm gonna copy those two functions because for the most they're gonna be the same basically just a little change uh, so it's gonna be mouse down and mouse hit um, I'm gonna copy this and change this to the mouse and all is done we have mouse function simple I'm gonna go here now and I'm gonna do if input dot mouse hit events dot left mouse do this and see you can see it works I can now spawn buildings and there's one last thing that I want to do and again I have never ever used mouse scroll in Python because I had never need to do it so I'm not gonna teach you now how to do it with scroll today I'm gonna just use keyboard I'm gonna use uh, plus and minus keys or something like that and um, I don't know what I'm gonna use maybe arrow keys to switch between buildings but uh, I promise that in next tutorial I'm gonna if I remember I'm gonna show you how to do it with mouse scroll because I will need to learn it myself first okay so now I'm gonna do it uh, if input that key hit um events dot left arrow key own building um building oh uh, plus equal plus equals one sorry if input dot key hit events dot right arrow key own building minus equals one I'm sorry I must exchange them Okay, like this. Now you can see I can change it to be building one, building zero. In next turn, I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue that you can actually place the zero building onto the building one and building one onto the zero building, and you can actually place two identic buildings at the same point spot. So, yeah but for this tutorial so far this is it I hope you enjoyed it if so thanks for watching and please press the like and I'm gonna say goodbye to you and see you next time